Together Housing, they've asked if we could get involved and provide them with four recipes of how to feed a family of five for under £10. Under £10? Okay, we're, we're, we're going to do haddock fish cakes um, and we're going to do those on some crushed peas, posh word, crushed peas. We've got mashed potato, a little bit of butter, we've got some chives, some peas, a little bit of sour cream, flour, and we've got our important, important ingredient is our haddock. So I've just popped the haddock into a, little tr into a little drop of water and then I'm just going to put some salt. Basically, we just need to cook that for a couple of minutes. We can get our peas here and pop them into the pan because we just need to warm those up. Okay. Can you use frozen peas? Yeah, they're frozen peas. They're the good old garden peas. I mean, really, you know, there's not many things or many ingredients that you could say, you know, are as good as fresh, but frozen peas are as good as it gets from a, for a frozen vegetable point of view. Okay, so we've just put a little knob of butter in there. And again, we'll pop the lid on there. Okay, so we're just going to warm those. And then we're going to mix those with a little bit of sour cream. Now I can see, you can see the fish is cooking there. And again, we just want to lightly cook that. For any reason to have it in particular? Well, it's a really cheap, sustainable fish. And a, and a such an underrated fish. It's a great product. And we often, you know, cod's, cod's fine. Um, but haddock, I think, is, is, you know, is a really, really lovely fish. And that's all you need. It's a matter of a minute there, yeah? Okay. And then I'm just going to leave that for a minute to rest. And then all we're going to do with that is just take it out and just flake it. Okay. But I'm conscious of making sure that um, we don't have our fish cakes too wet because we're not going to breadcrumb these. This is how my mum used to cook. And, and the rough ingredients are two of potato to one of fish. Okay, so that's, that's your gauge. Okay, so we've got our mashed potato here. So we'll pop that into there. And I just want to break that, break that up to make sure that we can work the fish in. I don't want to pulp the fish because I don't want it to be a mush. I want, I, want that you I want you to taste the flakes of fish when you're eating the fish cake. So while that fish is just cooling down, if you want to be a bit fancy, you can go into your garden and you can get a few chives out, okay? And we're going to, we're going to cut our chives. Uh, Do you, you rub the blade against your nails on yep. your hand? Yep, you've got your, this is what we call the cradle, okay? In professional cookery terms. This second finger is your gauge. So all you do is you can see the knife, side of the knife goes against that second finger if you're going to draw the knife like that towards yourself, you put your thumb on the heel of the knife. If you're going to do the rocking motion, you put the thumb on the side and wrap your four fingers around. From the heel, you just rock through like so. And you, your, your fingers on your left hand are pushing the chives along as you rock your knife. Pushing them through and just that second finger that protrudes from your four fingers just Aids the knife, and that's the gauge. You pop the fish on the J cloth, obviously, as you can see, allowing your fish to drain. And take the skin off. It's easier to take the skin off after. Okay, and then likewise with the other piece. Now, watch out for, for bones. If you've got a few bones, you can feel them. And again, it's easier to take your bones off when your fish is cooked, because remember, you're going to flake the fish here. So don't worry about the bones beforehand. You can just check and if you've got any bones there, check for them. And I'm just going to mix carefully the fish into the fish cake. I just want to form that into a little fish cake. And I've actually got a little cutter here but you don't need to have a cutter. You just do your couple of fish cakes. And I've got a few bits just left over, so waste not, want not. We don't want to waste anything, so just bob them onto the top of that. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt on top there, like so. Let's get them ready to go into the flour. And 
remember if you put a little knob of butter in um, into your frying pan it, it it will burn you've got to be careful okay so you can clarify your butter but I've put some some oil in there and then put my fish cakes in we need to cook those a minute minute and a half each side and then we're we're ready to go when you're cooking at home for yourself yes um, how far do you go with the presentation let's get to real nitty-gritty it's the flavor that matters you know when you're at home it's all about the flavors you know, actually at work it's all about the flavors you know we are we are very very obsessed with presentation but the flavors are the most important thing so all I want is a nice golden brown not burnt a nice golden brown color um, and I think we're going nicely along there I'm not going to turn them over just yet so allow them to cook a little bit more let's not forget we've got our peas in here so I'm just going to pop our peas in add a little bit of our sour cream and we just need to pulse it that's going to go back in back into our pan now there can't be anything simpler than that can we we want to quickly flick those over how good does that look so you have that lovely crispy top you don't have any breadcrumbs so you don't have the calories with the breadcrumbs and absorbing all that fat so they're lovely and crispy okay I'm just going to pop them onto our peas peas and fish marriage made in heaven it works you can't buy that Nick <laughs>